The Imperial Theatre was uh, built in 1917 and opened in 1918 as the Wells Theatre. It uh, operated initially as a silent movie house as well as a vaudeville theatre. Uh, very exciting history that the theatre has, including well-known names such as Charlie Chaplin who came to speak to uh, the community. Later on in the 1920s, uh, the famous Russian uh, ballerina Anna Pavlova came and danced here, actually the Ballet Russe, uh, so that was kind of exciting. Uh, in the late 1920s, after the theater had changed names from the Wells Theater to the Imperial Theater, uh, the onset of movies with sound began in 1929. And so from 1929 into the 70s, the Imperial Theater operated fairly much as a full-time movie theater. And we came in with Augusta Players, and I was Grace, and we did Annie. And I think it was the first production that went on here. Rick Bracken directed it. And Sutton Foster, who is now the Broadway Tony winner, was our Annie. She was 10 at the time. And we had a, an incredible time in this brand new restored theater. A variety of groups worked on that process over a period of eight years. And in, 1990, in 1992, the culmination was the establishment of the Imperial Community Theater, which is a 501c3 nonprofit uh, organization. And uh, that is currently who is the owner and manager of the theater. Uh, the theater operates as a performance venue, uh, open for rent for different local uh, user groups as well as regional and national acts who utilize the theater for different theatrical, musical, and dance performances. We uh, present our main stage productions to over 10,000 children throughout the central Savannah River area each year. And for many of our children, it is their, their first opportunity to see live theater. Last year, we had 23,000 people in this theater. Wow, I remember coming to the Imperial Theater when Dad was having his rehearsals here. Uh, he would bring the band and he would spend a whole week um, doing rehearsals in between tours. I also remember the Imperial Theater being uh, the place where he started doing the annual James Brown toy giveaway. So it's a lot of um, history for me here at the Imperial Theater. I had one, uh, one local venue contact us and say, we will give you the venue. You won't have any overhead at all. We'll cover all the staff, everything. And I had to respectfully decline that because the Imperial is part of the legacy of Johnny Hensley and the Red Hots. The shows that are just big enough to, to pull out 1,000 to 1,500 people, or, or if you do two shows, you're pulling out 2,000 people, you know, all of those shows would be gone. You, you'd have none of that kind of stuff here. You know, so, so the, the Imperial is needed for this size venue for those type shows. Augusta needs the Imperial Theater. Our patrons love coming here. They think it's a wonderful theatrical experience. And for as a performing arts organization, we need the Imperial Theater. This is our home and has been our home for over 15 years. And if the Imperial Theater were not here, we would not have a venue to perform. I think it would not be replaceable. We can build other places for, for groups, and I think we should. But I think first, we need to take what we have, make it the best it can be, and make it continue as part of our community history. You know, I would like to urge people that have had wonderful moments in the Imperial to realize that the Imperial was a reason for those wonderful moments and the overhead to operate a building like this, the maintenance, the continuing maintenance of a building of this age um, is, uh, is tremendous. And it cannot happen without people coming forth and just say, I'd like to preserve that, that treasure that we have called the Imperial Theater. Our initial challenge is to raise $250,000. $250,000 will serve as a match to qualify for uh, $1 million in special local option sales tax money that Augusta Richmond County has available and has approved by referendum. A good four or five million dollars will help us to finish both the interior and the exterior work that needs to be done to truly bring the theater back to its original glory. When you ride down Broad Street and you see the Imperial Theater marquee, it kind of takes you to Times Square in New York. So to support the Imperial Theater is to support Augusta and its arts community.